Hi, I'm Jeffrey Epstein, spokesperson for D23, the official Disney fan club. And D23 has made several big announcements lately, including the free membership level. What is the advantage of the paid membership uh, in addition to the magazines and gifts? Well, we really wanted to take the D23 experience and broaden it out, really make it so that every Disney fan could be a part of D23. So we looked at the entire program and we thought, what can we do to make it better? Um, so for the gold members, we made Disney 23, the publication, exclusive to the gold members so that that's a real great perk of being a gold member. Our silver members still get all of the other perks of paid D23 membership, the annual gift, the membership card, the membership, the membership certificate, access to all of our member events, all of our discounts, really great things like that. Now with the free level, we're launching a few new things. One of them is this incredible exclusive member content. We went into the archives, we went to our partners all around the company to find things that are Disney's past, present, and future all represented. Without saying too much, there's gonna be some extraordinary stuff. We've already announced that we found some incredible artwork from Mickey Mouse Park that was done that has rarely been seen before. But we've also done some really fun things like if you're a fan of Once Upon a Time, we're doing an audio cast with Jennifer Goodwin. Or if you like Phineas and Ferb, we got an exclusive with the evil Dr. Doof and Schmerz. So when we launch, uh, everyone is going to have access to all of the exclusive content, which we're really, really excited about. We want people to be able to explore all of the rich content. I, I mean, I can't give enough credit to the fantastic team of Billy Stanek and Max Lark and Carmen Capone and the entire editorial team has really put together some incredible content. Um, things... Uh, Again, really mind blowing. So we want everyone to be able to explore that, and maybe down the road we're gonna we're gonna we may look at doing things that are exclusive for certain levels of membership. But for right now, we want everyone to be able to experience all of this incredible new content. For the D23 Expo this year, what we did was we went back and we looked at the, what was successful the last two years and where could we find improvements. And we think we really hit the nail on the head. First, we've taken two of our secondary stages, stage 23 and stage 28, and essentially doubled the capacity. So twice as many people are going to get to experience some of these really fantastic panels that, again, explore the heritage and legacy of Disney, as well as some of the things that are yet to come from the company, which is really exciting. The D23 Expo Arena is really going to be spectacular because it's 4,000 seats, but what we're doing is we've added a 2,000 seat overflow theater where there's going to be live streaming of all of the events that happen in there. So if you're not able to get into, say, the Disney Legends ceremony or the studio's presentation, then don't worry. There's going to be 2,000 more seats. You're going to get to see it live as it's happening and as it's being announced. Really incredible. And of course, we've got some really cool announcements that we've made. We've already talked about Treasures of the Walt Disney Archives coming back. The really great thing about the Expo this year is we're doing things a little different. We decided to take things, I don't want to say we're turning them on their head, but we're turning them a little bit. So Treasures of the Walt Disney Archives, in the past, you know, we took lots of different subjects and we did a few items from each movie or project. This year we're really focusing on three incredible projects. So we've got Mary Poppins, like it, the items that are being shown some of which have never been shown before, some of which are recently acquired by the archives. Incredible. Then, of course, you've got Disney's long-standing collection to L. Frank Baum's World of Oz. So you've got Return to Oz, The Rainbow Road to Oz, and, of course, the blockbuster hit, Oz the Great and Powerful. And then you have Once Upon a Time. Huge hit on ABC. Fans all over the world, we're going to be showing off some of the costumes from that, which are incredibly detailed. And maybe a couple more surprises. And we've also announced the concert. Richard Sherman, Alan Menken sharing the stage together for the first time. We are so privileged to have them. It's unbelievable. Many D23 members have had the opportunity to see Alan Menken perform at our Destination D event. Uh, and Richard Sherman performed at another Destination D event. We thought, why not bring these two masterminds who really have written more Disney songs together collaboratively than anyone else. I, I, not just Disney history there, you've really got American pop culture history. It's going to be spectacular. We've got the Disney Legends ceremony coming out. We haven't quite announced who the legends are yet, but let me tell you, it's going to be a great group. We think that the Disney fans are going to be incredibly happy with that. Uh, it's going to be spectacular. The studio's presentation, all of the things that the parks are doing this year, it's, it's very different and very, very cool. We think parks fans are going to have their minds blown on multiple occasions during the expo really fantastic and of course sneak peeks we're going to do some screenings there's going to be celebrities 
everything that people loved about the expo we're bringing back and hopefully we're improving on it. Can you tell us, um, there's going to be the free members and the paid members, and from what I understand that uh, paid members will have priority to many of the events. Oh, absolutely. When we launch the, me the new free level of membership, those members will have access to the expo, which we're really excited about because we know a lot of Disney fans are excited about the, coming, uh, the upcoming expo. Um, but Gold and Silver absolutely have priority to all of our member events. Um, obviously, we're here today at our great D23 member mixer at the House of Blues in Orlando, which was fantastic and so excited to see you guys here. Um, and those kind of events will always have priority for gold and silver members. So we're really, we really want to make sure that there's a special value to that membership. Um, and then, of course, the gold members will always get Disney 23 magazine, our gorgeous magazine, um, which is, you know, I know, isn't that, see what I did there? Did, and so it's really cool that the members are going to have access, the gold members will have access to that magazine, because we really did want to make that membership special for them. And that's exclusively? It is exclusively for gold members. Yeah. And what are the other events coming up this year? Gosh, well, there's so many. We've got um, more studio tours. We have um, the Sip and Stroll event coming back to Walt Disney World, our Holiday Splendor event, which is a, a new holiday event happening at Walt Disney World. We have Disney and Dickens coming back, and we got a few other surprises up our sleeves that people can definitely look forward to. And all those events you just mentioned are only available to the paid membership. Yes. Priority. They will, priority. It will definitely be a yes. If not exclusive, absolutely priority for Gold and Silver members.